Well, we're heading out to Chadron State Park, one of the best state parks I've ever been to. If you guys want to see more of this, go check out last week's episode. What can you say about this Nebraska drive? I mean, it's peaceful. Not a whole lot out here. Not a lot to look at. Some little towns, a lot of churches in the little towns. And that's about the end of that. Not a whole lot to talk about. Well, I figured it out. We're gonna go to Smith Falls. It is 40 minutes away. Smith Falls is one of Nebraska's tallest waterfalls at 63 feet. There's a state park there, we'll check that out. This is something. I mean, there's no trees here or anything. Just rolling prairie. Okay, small world. The girl that just checked me in at the campground, she's from my hometown. Originally, she just asked for my zip code. I told her what it was. She asked, oh, are you from the northern central Minnesota? And I said, yeah, can you tell by my voice? And she says, no, my parents have a place on Crow Wing Lake. I was like, told her that's where I put my fish house out. But they even make it hard to understand the designation of spots here. This is how they have it set up. The one, two, three, four, five. So I'm assuming one, two, Three. This spot would be for number four. And I'm assuming that I'm in number five. I'm gonna take the bike out and uh, do a little tour of the campground here. She's a warm, muggy one out today. We're gonna go find this waterfall. Go for a little walk. In this heat, I might get lucky. Clothes might be dry by the time I get back to the camper. This campground, that's not my thing. 
This is a very pretty camp car. Don't get me wrong. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. And a lot of people would love this. I think if you're into kayaking or tubing, check this place out because the river runs through here and uh, that's what I'm seeing a lot of. Is people are kind of hooked up and linked together on inner tubes, blasting music, having a good old time. Uh, so yeah, if you're into that kind of stuff, oh, this campground could be a blast. It's just not for me. I think there might be like a family reunion or something going on here too. A lot of people have those big canvas style gazebo tents out and a lot of food and drink under them. Not a bad campground, just not my thing. We're gonna move on, otherwise in about three hours, I'm going to be kicking myself thinking, what am I doing here? So, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and nip that in the bud right away, get this taken care of. You know, I might be able to get another four or five hours of driving under my belt yet tonight. When I was young, like Young Guns, my favorite movie. Anything to do with Billy the Kid, Wyatt Earp, Jesse James, loved it. Even now today, I sit around and watch YouTube videos, these old cowboys and outlaws. Anyways, the story goes that Jesse James robbed a bank in Minnesota. He was trying to escape the authorities and ended up jumping a gulch in the Dakota territories to get away from the authorities. What we're gonna do, so we're going to go stay at a park there. So we're out of Nebraska and into South Dakota. We're at a place called Palisades State Park. We're gonna go check that out, and then later, we're gonna go see the area where Jesse James supposedly jumped over a gulch after robbing a bank in Minnesota to escape the authorities and get into the Dakota territories. Let's go check out this park. The AC's working overtime, taking all the humidity out of the air. We're definitely close to Minnesota, and you can tell dew point, humidity, way up there we're gonna go for a little bike ride leave the air conditioner on while we go this is a pretty cool little park and this is a basic state park uh, the one that we were in in Nebraska that reminded me more of a more of a commercialized family style campground um, just too close just way too close together with neighbors um, so yeah let's go check this place out
This is a really pretty park. I enjoy it. There's a lot of bike riding and walking trails around here. We'll go take a look at some of the rock outcroppings, and I like how you can get right on top of this river and check it all out. Palisades is a very peaceful park. They've got a lot of picnic tables, a lot of areas for people to, to gather, and it's a pretty big park too, so you really don't feel like you're right on top of each other. There's a lot of places to walk here at this park too. Really close to the state park is the town of Garrison. They have a pretty cool park here. It's called Split Rock Park. Let's go check it out. So my very first video was actually filmed here at Split Rock. Now you guys know the first video is being up on Silver Bay, but actually a couple of months prior to that video, I stayed here up at Split Rock Park. It's maintained by the city. I stayed up here by myself and just used an old cell phone to record the video on. After watching it, I thought there was no way I was gonna be anywhere near YouTube. In fact, I didn't even edit the video. I just played back some of the clips on my cell phone. I thought there is absolutely no way that I'm ever gonna post a video. A Couple of months later, I went up to Split Rock and I was a little bit happier and that's kind of what started the whole thing. But it was right here. I came in April that fall and uh, was the only one here. It was still cold out and yeah, this is a really nice little park. This is a really pretty park they have at Garrison, South Dakota. They have a little donation box. So back in 1936, the town decided that they wanted to have a little park on the river and that's when this place was established. They also wanted to build a bridge across it. So they made this little park and actually had a beach area for the kids to go swimming at. This rock building right here was a bathhouse that they put in in 1936. Devil's Falls, let's go check this out. Devil's Falls is all but dried up. Just a little bit of a trick. You can imagine it'd be pretty impressive if it had thousands of gallons of water flowing down it. I 
I know I'm a dork, but I think it's pretty cool that I can say that I was right here, the bottom of Devil's Falls. And this is the famous 20-foot gulch. Supposedly, Jesse James jumped over this riding horse to escape some lawmen from a bank that he just robbed in Minnesota. This is a really cool walk. If you guys get to the Devil's Gulch area, definitely take these trails. The bridge and the gulch are just right away. So, so you'd be missing a lot if you don't get on these trails. What do you think? Is it possible for a man and a horse to jump across this whole gulch? These are really pretty walks here. I haven't been seeing a lot of people at all. This is a good time. Over the last two weeks, the camper shifted in the bed a little bit. We're gonna fix that before we go. The camper needs to get pushed to the driver's side by about three inches. Let me show you how I fix that. Step one is gonna be removing the fast guns. What we're gonna do, we're gonna lift the whole camper up in the air. Step two, we're gonna lift the camper about three to four inches out of the bed of the truck. So now we have the whole camper lifted about four inches off the bed of the pickup truck. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start letting down this side of the truck first. So the front and rear jack, we're gonna let them down. What that's gonna do is that's going to slide the whole camper over this way a little bit. I'm gonna start lowering down just the driver's side and you're gonna see this whole camper shift over to this side a couple inches. So there's a little tip if you're loading a truck camper. I think a lot of people spend too much time with trying to get that thing perfect in the bed of the truck. You just need to get it back there. You can make fine adjustments by lowering the legs on the jack. That's how I do it. We're just leaving the town of Gerritsen. This is where Palisade State Park is and also Split Rock Campground. The cool thing about this town, they have a car wash with a 13 and a half foot bay door and they also have a free dump and water fill station in town. Now we get to sit back and enjoy the ride. It's gonna be about four hours till we get home. It's official, this road trip has come to an end. 3,140 miles. I had fun. Hope you guys did too. Next week, we got something special planned. If you've stuck around this whole time, I wanna thank you. Remember, be kind, be honest. We'll see you down the road.